Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with the PC Michiana Tech Help Show. Um, I'm sorry, I got a little bit of a cold, so I'm going to do my best. I'm on cold medicine uh, to get a good video to you today. Uh, and I'm going to go over the WordPress software package we've been working with in the previous two web series videos. Um, and uh, in the first video, I showed you guys how to turn your computer into a web server. And uh, the second video, I showed you how to create a website using WordPress. Now this one, I'm actually showing you the features and functions of WordPress and pretty much everything that you need to know before we add any plugins or anything. Um, <clears throat> it's very easy software to use, and after I've gone over all this, you should be able to pretty much create a website from scratch. Uh, it's not going to look pretty yet, but uh, we'll get into that later on. So go ahead and go to the website we created, and I'm going to go to the dashboard here, and we're going to get started. Now in the upper left hand corner you have uh, your home page which is your basic overview of everything that's going on, on your page. Uh, we're going to get into everything in little detail on the left hand side and this will make more sense to you then. Let's go ahead and select updates on the left and uh, updates is going to show you all the latest updates for your plugins and themes. Now WordPress goes out and automatically collects this information. So if a, a new version of WordPress comes out or a new plugin or a new theme comes out, you can actually run the updater right here through the uh, dashboard interface, which is pretty nice. Now on the left-hand side, I want to differentiate between posts here, you see that, and pages. Now a post, if I go to the actual website here that's created for my WordPress, a post is a standalone post, like this one here that says Hello World. Now notice Hello World really doesn't show up anywhere else on your page, like on the navigation or anything. But these right here, a home and sample page, would be a page. So they actually show up in the navigation bar. So typically the difference between a page and a post is that posts will have, basically you'll have a whole bunch of them. They could be a blog post or they could be a sub page. And they won't take up navigation bar space. So you may have many, many posts under one category. So if you were doing like a tech help so site like mine, so if I go to mine, I can go to how-to videos here. And posts would be, when I select Faster 7 here, each one of these would be its own standalone post. But really, they're all under one page category of Faster 7. I hope that makes sense. So let me go back to that real quick. And then each page, as you can see, will have its own definitive description. So if I click Sample Page here, as you can see, it's got its own layout and everything associated with that. So let's go back to here, <clears throat> go back to our navigation, and let's go to All Posts. And it shows all of your posts and your post history, when it was published, who wrote it, what categories it was, categories it was filed under, and things like that. For those of you who are planning to build a website and you want to do a blog or you want to do kind of tech help or something, whatever you want to do, I would recommend starting in the category section and then kind of type up what other people are using as categories for a similar site. See how I use my categories? I had it, I had it divided up by video series and I have it uh, divided up by video categories. So then when I go to create a post, I can assign it. I will show you actually, rather than tell you. If I go to all posts here, no, go to add new on the left-hand side. This is the new post that I'd be creating. And then as you can see on the right-hand side, in the bottom right-hand corner, there's a little category section. And I can actually categorize it, uh, select a category that I've created. Now the nice thing about this WordPress also is you can add the new character category right here. So for artistic creations, let's just say like landscapes. And so we'll add that new category. So let's say this post was going to be a new landscape, a new landscape photo. Okay. And I'm not going to go into many details here on post. Your post should have at least 400 words for search engine. But let me go ahead and Google a landscape real quick. Pull up an image. And let's go ahead and save one of these to the desktop here. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to add an image real quick. See right here, I can just say add an image. And then we'll go to Select Files. And then on the desktop, I can scroll down to my photo, wherever I save it. Here it is. And then as you notice, it go ahead, goes ahead and uploads it. Now I can enter a title to this image. This is my first landscape photo. Usually you want to type in something somebody's going to type into a search engine here for both of these. Landscape photo of trees in winter, you know, something like that. Now if you want to, you can also add a caption below that uh, so that it actually shows it on your picture. And you can do the same thing with descriptions for search engines. And uh, you can use the featured image. Some themes have this feature and that means it might show up on your background 
or in some carousel that showed up in yours. But right now we're not worried about stuff like that. Notice you can align it to the left, center, or right, and uh, you can also resize it. You can do the full size, which is huge. But I'm just gonna do medium and insert into post. And as you can see, it automatically adds it to our post. On the right-hand side, I got it categorized as a landscape. And let's say my first landscape photo of trees in winter. And so we'll go ahead and click publish. And so we've created a post. Uh, it's a very simple thing to do. Um, and again, we'll go into search engine optimization for these when we're done here. But if I go ahead and go back to my website now, Artistic Creations, notice that it actually shows the most recent post that I've created. Very simple process. It doesn't have a different page separated here. Now, let's make a page, actually, because pages are kind of a, a big thing because you want to be able to set up your navigation. So I'm going to go to the dashboard here. And I'm going to go to Pages, All Pages. And we're going to go to Add New. And we'll say About Us. Every page has an About Us page. Every website has an About Us page. This is all about me. And maybe you'll put a picture of yourself in there and you'll type in all of the all of the things about yourself and the history of your company and things like that. And then on the right hand side you can choose a parent so that you can actually have this be a subcategory of your sample page. That basically means if yours has a drop down menu it won't show up as a primary menu item it'll just show up as a sub menu item for that. For templates you could have different templates depending on whatever theme you chose. I'll just keep this one default and for order this will actually move it around. So if I want to make sure it shows up at the, as the third menu item I can type in three and then click publish. So let's go back to our page here. And as you can see, if I scroll down, I've got an about us one right here. Now let's go back and change it to a sub panel of sample page. Okay, do sub panel sample page here. And then we'll do update. And then let's go ahead and view the page again. And you'll notice that it actually didn't show up as a sample page. Now it's actually showed up as a drop menu underneath the sample page. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the settings here because this is really important, and uh, we're going to we're going to change a little few more layout things. Let's say you didn't like your title, so go to the settings for general, and you, here you can change your site title and put a tagline in here. Uh, notice that on ours it did say something weird, so so we'll say original artwork from Sarah Chamberlain. Okay, so I'm going to go down here and save this. And I'm going to go back to the site. It shows up as a nice little tagline here. Now, one more thing I want to go over before we finish up this video is widgets. Now, widgets are really important, too, because they'll uh, allow you to change your navigation bars on the side. Uh, let me show you that here. The bottom right-hand corner, I know I'm kind of bouncing around again. I'm on cold medicine. I'm doing the best I can. But we can actually customize what shows up on this sidebar over here. So let's go to the dashboard. And uh, under Appearance, we're going to select the Widgets menu. And now widgets are really, really fun to work with, actually, if you've never worked with them before. On the right-hand side, this is where they will show up. Now, you have three footer areas on this particular theme, and a showcase sidebar, and a main sidebar. Now, what we want to do is, is we want to drag over to these boxes anything we might want to show up. So if we just want links that show up, if we add links right here on the left-hand side of this links drop-down, if we want all those links to show up, we can just drag that right over here to the main sidebar, and then we can show the link image, name, description, and rating if we'd like. We can have show all links are just ones categorized as blog roll. We can also drag a calendar over here, and we can either put it below it or above it. So I'll put that below it, and if I drag it above it, I can put it above it. And then uh, say, let's do a tag cloud too. We'll go ahead and bring that over there. And you don't, if you don't add a title, it'll, it'll leave in a default title. And uh, that's pretty much all I'm going to show on my main sidebar, so let's go back to the page here. And as you can see, on the right-hand side, you got a whole bunch of new, uh, new features here. And it'll highlight the dates that you posted a new post in. It'll also have all kinds of different uh, blog roles, because that's the link thing that I chose. So if I go back here, if I go to links, and I go to link categories, you'll notice that there's a blog role category, and it has seven links in it. Now that's all there is to this video. I probably went a little long on it, and I'm going to try to edit out a lot of the junk. Um, but I wanted to go over the basic layout stuff that you guys needed to know of before we get into the actual themes 
And uh, there's also plugins and stuff we need to go over as well. So thanks for stopping by. As always, leave comments and ratings. And if you have any questions, feel free to swing by the forum at my website. That's PCMichiana.com. Select Community Forum. It's completely free. Go ahead and register and uh, just post whatever you want there.